for the bookshops of over a hundred countries throughout the world, a paperback library that could be one of the biggest export ideas in publishing. The first all-colour paperbacks. Over a hundred titles in a series of popular reference books designed to appeal to all age groups and intellectual appetites. The publishers claim that the artwork equals that of any hand-illustrated books, and they should know, among their production of 40 million books a year, some are in the hundred guinea class. When the designs have been approved, they're transferred onto a transparent foil, a particularly delicate job checking that every illustration is precisely in place. The printing plate is now covered with a light-sensitive coating so that the layout can be photographed onto it. An ordinary teapot has been found the simplest and best method of applying it. After it's been exposed in the normal photolitho process, they have a plate in negative of complete pages of a section of the book. This must then be developed and etched into the plate before it's ready for the press. Hamlin's have invested over a million pounds in this series of paperbacks, which has taken over three years to produce. All the books are designed with an eye to international appeal and overseas experts were consulted during the preparatory stages. The number of illustrations, sometimes as many as 300 in a book, obviously helps to attract the younger or less sophisticated reader. As well as natural history and the arts, subjects range from space travel to popular science, from history to mythology, and the discovery and development of America, Australia and Africa. But the remarkable thing considering the work involved is the price. They should find a ready market even in countries where six shillings means more than it does to most of us. Incidentally, advance royalties have already earned nearly half a million pounds in foreign currency. We'd love you to subscribe to the British Movie Tone channel for regular updates.